Good morning. Hi, if you're on the replay, I'm so glad that you are here. You are, um, hi, pretty Jay, how are you? I am so glad that you're here with us. Um, if you're on the replay, if you're joining me live on the app, if you're on the web, if you found the video on YouTube, um, I'm, I'm good, pretty Jay, thanks. Uh, Babayan Rose, Herbert, good morning. Um, or oh, Herbet, sorry. JJ Croft, welcome. Hey, as everybody's jumping on, um, those of you who have been on my scopes before know that I really get a kick out of um, knowing where everybody's from. So um, if you would type in the chat where you are in the world, that would be awesome. So um, I've had people from Russia, from Australia, from Canada, London, Ireland, Salem, Oregon, Ohio, awesome. You guys are wonderful all across the United States. I've had some people from Brazil. So Periscope is really this global community and it is just so awesome. Thank you for the hearts. Um, I appreciate the hearts. Um, so welcome. I personally am in Fresno, California. I That's right in the very smack dab in the center of California, if you don't know California very well. Um, and and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle Peterson. I'm a direct response copywriter and online digital and social media marketing strategist. I help creative entrepreneurs. Hey, Brazil's in the house again. Um, and Italy, all right, cool. Um, and I help creative entrepreneurs and business owners just like you guys. Um, tell their stories and make more money online. And I love what I do. I work personally one-to-one -one with my clients, but I'm using Periscope to help a wider audience. Hey, from Turkey, that's cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna block that person. Um, I don't need to have that. So, um, welcome. If you're here looking to grow your business and, and get some tips and strategies for growing your business, you're in the right place. Um, welcome. Uh, I don't want to waste your time if that's not what you're here for. So if you're not here for that, um, go ahead and jump off now. Don't waste your time. But if you're here to get some strategies, like I say, to, to grow your business, um, then please um, stick with me and I, and, and I hope that my content will be valuable for you. Um, today's topic is uh, what caring for sick family members taught, can teach us about marketing. And so the, what prompted this topic today was yesterday my husband stayed home sick from work. He called in sick. My husband never does that. He has, and I checked, um, Dominic, my, I am a, a, a uh, copywriter, an online, spe spe specifically online copywriter, and I help people with their marketing. Um, my husband, though, he called in sick yesterday. My husband is a winemaker. And he, um, I checked on his, his last pay stub, and he has like 150 hours of sick time. Never calls in sick. Um, and by the way, that's like three and a half weeks of sick time that he has available to him. But so he called in sick. And I did not scope yesterday morning because I was dealing with him and, and helping him and making him feel comfortable and, and just taking care of him. Same thing happens like when our son gets sick and, and he's very rarely sick either. But so when, when something like that happens, you drop everything and you take care of your family members, right? Um, same, I mean, I can, the list is, can go on and on. My grandma, my mom, when people are sick, you, you drop everything and you take care of them, right? Even, you know, you, you may have things, you may have had things that were planned out for your day, scheduled for your day. But when something like that happens, you, you drop everything and you take care of them. So what does that have anything to do about marketing, right? Well, I think a lot of times people will treat their marketing plan just like that, right? They'll take the health of their business for granted. They'll keep going along at you know, business as usual and only, and only um, address their marketing, only look at their marketing when something happens when, when, when their, their business all of a sudden gets sick, right? Um, when, when sales go down or when traffic goes down. Um, and that's when they start to look at their marketing. 
But that's really not the best way to go about your marketing. Thank you for the hearts. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, when you hear something that resonates with you, tap on the screen to give hearts, and that is like tips in the tip jar, um, as Shalene Johnson would say. So heart it up when you hear something that resonates with you. But so marketing your business only when something's bad, only when something has happened, only when, you're, when your sales are, are sick, um, and, I, and I don't mean sick in the new vernacular, I mean sick as in ill and, and, and going downhill, um, that, that is just not effective marketing, right? So with the health co correlation, preventative care is much better than going to the emergency room, right? Um, keeping yourself healthy, um, eating well, exercising, taking your vitamins, getting enough rest, all these things that we know we should be doing to keep our bodies healthy, um, we, we, we should be doing that on an ongoing basis, right? Not just when we start to feel run down, not just when we start to feel sick, not when we are sick. So the same thing happens, you know, this, or the same, the same uh, principle applies with your marketing. You should always be doing the things that you know, um, that you know, sorry, I got distracted by the comment. Yes, people are so much different from each other. Um, but so if you need to be doing those things that you know that will keep your business healthy. A business is just like any living, breathing entity, right? We need to keep it healthy. You need to take care of it so it will take care of you. Um, so if your marketing plan, if what works for your business and, you, and what will keep your business healthy is email marketing, then you need to have ongoing, consistent email marketing in place. If what keeps your business healthy is um, being active on social and, 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 and really serving a community on social media, then you need to have a plan, a consistent plan that you're doing on an ongoing basis to keep your business healthy on social media. If your business thrives and, and, and is, is kept healthy with direct mail, same thing applies. Whatever avenue, whatever channel you're using for marketing, um, whether it's a sales funnel, you know, with directing traffic and, and going through the steps of a sales funnel, whether it's straight email marketing, direct mail, social media, blogging, um, any, any form of content marketing, whatever you're doing, um, you need to be doing it consistently to keep your business healthy, right? Instead of just dropping everything and, and having that emergency care because it's sick. So, does that make sense? I, I hope so. I hope that you will take this to heart and stop taking the health of your business for granted um, because it, it really, um, it, it does take work. It does take effort. It takes a conscious effort to keep, that, keep your business healthy and to keep your marketing healthy, okay? So that's my challenge for you is to... Um, Figure out what it what your business needs to keep it healthy. What kind of marketing you need to, to do consistently to keep your business healthy and then commit to doing that. Whatever, like I say, whatever that means, social content marketing, direct mail, you know, online, offline, whatever that is, make sure you're doing it consistently and and as preventive care to keep your business healthy. Okay? So that's it for today, guys. Um, I Tomorrow I'm going to tell you a story of a prospective client that I talked to yesterday. I'm working up a marketing plan and, and a proposal for him. Um, but it is a, again, it's a cautionary tale of, it'll be something what, of a cautionary tale of what not to do because his story, it broke my heart and, and I think it will be valuable to you to learn from his mistakes um, with his website and, and with who he trusted to, to keep his business healthy. And honestly, he's, he's a bit in trouble right now. He went from his website bringing in lots of leads and calls to crickets. There's nothing happening. And um, it, it's, it, it's a sad story. I, I will give you full disclosure. It's a sad story. But it's 
valuable and I want you to hear it. So tune in tomorrow. Catch me tomorrow. I do scope every Monday through Friday, usually, unless there's something happening. Uh, Monday through Friday, about 8.30ish Pacific time. And um, so anyway, join me tomorrow. And um, until then, be well, be wealthy, be wise. And I will see you tomorrow. Make it a great day. Bye for now.